Howdy folks, my name is Cletus Vaughn Klapka. Today we have something nice planned for the day. We are going to be recreating the delicious stew from the one and only Pearson. It's starting to get into the colder months of the year up in the northern areas, and prey will soon start to be a little more tricky to find, which is why we are going to practice some hunting, scavenging, and cooking skills all in a day's work. Well, now that we know what we're getting into today, let's begin making this stew. Prior to leaving our campsite today, let's quickly make sure that we have some of the basic ingredients that we need to make this stew. So, before leaving, make sure you have a little bit of wheat flour, some crushed black peppercorns, about a cup's worth of red wine, decent amount of salt, just a splash of red wine vinegar, and a good amount of bourbon, both for the recipe and for you. Once you've gone through your bag and made sure that you have all of them ingredients, then let's get out there and grab the rest of what we need. We'll also be grabbing some extra ingredients at the other cabin later on. Well, now that we're far enough away from camp, let's get out our rifle put some ammunition in it, and try to find our prey today. Now, focus. Once we can find a path to where we need to go, let's go and track it. You want to try to be as quiet as possible. Some of these animals are quite skittish, and one wrong noise could lead to a disappointing time. Once you have your target in front of you, take a breath, aim your gun, and take the shot. Now that our prey is down, let's bring it back to the camp and find the rest of the ingredients that we need today. Now that we've brought our meat back home, it's time to get the vegetables and spices ready for this stew. Definitely don't skip these fellers as they make an already great meal even better. The vegetables and spices that we're looking out for today are a couple good sized potatoes, a couple of bay leaves, and a few sprigs of thyme. Well, I think we got all that we need for this meal. Now that we're back at camp, we can begin this recipe and get going. And the rest of the items that I needed to grab back from the cabin for this meal were a small bunch of celery, good amount of carrots, an onion, most of a bulb of garlic, a good amount of beef stock, and about a dozen mushrooms. The first thing that we need to do is to start up this fire. I prefer to use the log cabin style, but whatever method you know will work just fine. Just as long as we get this fire ripping hot for this cook. Well, while our fire is heating up there, we can start up by cutting our celery stalk. Just cut that into a few chunks. Do a very rough chop of some carrots. Cut the potatoes into small chunks. Cut our mushrooms into quarters. And try to do a fine chop on the garlic. We can set all those to the side for the time being and prepare our meat. 
To prepare our meat, we want them into decent sized chunks, and of course, we better save this fat later on so we can sear our meat better. So just cut them into decent sized chunks and put them in a bowl. Once you have your meat in a bowl, take a chunk of the fat that you just took off and put it in the Dutch oven. And just let that render down for a little bit. While that's rendering down, in your bowl with the meat, add your wheat flour, your salt, and your crushed pepper and mix it all together. Make sure that every nook and cranny is covered in that nice seasoned flour. Once your meat is all seasoned up, in batches of course, add your meat to the Dutch oven and sear every side to get a wonderful golden brown crust. You want to make sure you do this in batches so every piece of meat gets a nice sear. Once every piece of meat has some color, remove them all from the pan and set it to the side. And back in your Dutch oven with the fond on the bottom, just add your onions, let them soften down and get some color for a couple minutes. Once there's just a little bit of color on there, add your celery and your garlic and just stir it all together and just wait until the garlic starts to smell great. Now we're at the point of the recipe where we can add all of our liquids. Start it off, we can add our beef broth. Our red wine, our red wine vinegar, and our bourbon. Once that's in there, now's the time you can add your beef chunks. And of course, your sprigs of thyme and bay leaves. Just give it a little stir, make sure everything's all incorporated and nice. And once that's all mixed together and it's starting to heat up, you can put your lid on. And now we can wait for a long, long time. The rest of our vegetables there are only going in near the end, just so they're not incredibly mushy. And at this point, we're gonna wait for about two hours. So during this time, sit back relax and just take a bit to ponder because we've done a lot of work today and it's time for us to take a little break you know folks life's a funny old thing ain't it it's a place where the sunsets paint the sky with hues of fire and the winds whisper tales of long forgotten souls it's a place where time can be your closest friend or your cruelest enemy, depending on which side of Lady Luck's table you're sitting at. I've ridden through the dust storms that could strip the skin off a rattlesnake, and I've faced down desperados whose hearts were colder than the winter wind. But you see, 
It ain't the shootouts or the bar brawls that keep me up at night. It's the ghosts of my own past. The regrets that haunt me like restless spirit. Regrets, my friends. They're like shadows that never fade. We all got them. Whether we're drifters like me or fine folks in fancy parlors. We regret the words left unsaid. The chances we didn't take. And the people we've lost along the way. And then there's the fear. The fear of what lies ahead. The fear of growing old alone. The fear of dying with dreams unfulfilled. We're all just trying to find our way in this vast, unforgiven wilderness, hoping that the path we choose leads us to some kind of redemption. Troubles? Well, they come and go like tumbleweeds in the wind. But it's depression, that dark cloud that hangs heavy over a man's soul. That's the hardest to shake. It's like being trapped in a never-ending storm with no shelter in sight. But let me tell you something, my friends. Even in the darkest of times, there's a flicker of hope, a spark deep within us that refuses to be extinguished. So, as we ride through this rugged terrain called life, let's not be defined by our regrets, fears, or troubles. Let's be defined by the way we rise from the dust, by the strength we find in our own hearts. Let's cherish the moments that make us feel alive, hold on to the memories that warm our souls, and reach out to the ones we love, for they are the true treasures of this world. And if you ever find yourself staring down the barrel of your own regrets and fears, just remember, there's always a sunrise after the darkest of nights. It may be a tough and unforgiven world out there, but it's also a world filled with beauty, with second chances, and with promises of a better tomorrow. So my friends, keep riding, keep believing, and never stop chasing that elusive redemption, for in the end, it's the journey that defines us, not the scars we carry along the way. Well, fellas, it's been about two hours now, and it's time to add the rest of our ingredients. So at this point, add your carrots, mushrooms, and your potatoes. And just let them simmer down for another 30 minutes to maybe an hour, just until they softened up. And once that time has passed, make sure you give it a good taste and make sure it's perfect to your liking. You can also use this time to season it some more with some salt or pepper to taste. Or if it's a little too dry, add some more bourbon or wine if you have any left there. And at this point, I think it's just time that we enjoy what we've done today. Great work today, fellas. We've accomplished making this mighty stew and have had a great day today. Thanks for listening and following along through this wonderful day. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And once again, my name is Cletus Von Claptrap, and I will see you in the next day.